Chapter 5 of The Adventures of Grandfather Frog. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Tech Savvy. The Adventures of Grandfather Frog by Thornton W. Burgess. Chapter 5 Grandfather Frog Jumps Just in Time. Back and forth over the green meadows sailed Whitetail the marsh hawk. Like long legs, the blue heron, he was hungry. His sharp eyes peered down among the grasses, looking for something to eat. But some good fairy seemed to have warned the very little people who lived there that Whitetail was out hunting. Perhaps it was one of the old mother West Wind's children, the merry little breezes you know they are always flitting about trying to do someone a good turn they love to dance and romp and play from dawn to dusk the livelong day but more than this they love to find a chance to do some favor kind anyway little mr green snake seemed to know what white tail was out hunting and managed to keep out of sight Danny Meadow Mouse wasn't to be found. Only a few foolish grasshoppers rewarded his patient search, and these only served to make him feel hungrier than ever. But old Whitetail has a great deal of persistence, and in spite of his bad luck, he kept at his hunting, back and forth, back and forth, until he had been all over the green meadows at last he made up his mind that he was wasting time there i'll just have to look over at the smiling pool and if there's nothing there i'll take a turn or two along the big river thought he and straight away started for the smiling pool long before he reached it his keen eyes saw long legs and blue heron standing motionless on the edge of it and he knew by the looks of long legs that he was watching something which he hoped to catch if it's a fish thought whitetail it will do me no good for i am no fisherman but if it's a frog well frogs are not as good eating as fat meadow mice where they are very filling with that he hurried a little faster and then he saw what long legs was watching so intently it was as you know grandfather frog sitting on his big green lily pad old whitetail have a great sigh of satisfaction grandfather frog certainly would be very filling very filling indeed now long legs the blue huron was so intently watching grandfather frog that he saw nothing else and grandfather frog was so busy watching long legs that he quite forgot that there might be other dangers besides his back was toward old whitetail of course whitetail saw this and it made him almost chuckle aloud ever so many times he had tried to catch grandfather frog but always grandfather frog had seen him long before he could get near him now with all his keen sight old white tail had failed to see someone else who was sitting right in plain sight he had failed because his mind was so full of grandfather frog and long legs that he forgot to look around as he usually does just skimming the tops of the bulrushes he sailed swiftly out over the smiling pool and reached down with his great cruel claws to clutch grandfather frog who sat there pretending to be asleep but all the time watching long legs and deep down inside chuckling to think how he was fooling long legs slap that was the tail of jerry muskrat hitting the water grandfather frog knew what that meant danger he didn't know what the danger was, and he didn't want to find out. There would be time enough for that later. When Jerry Muskrat slapped the water with his tail that way, danger was very near indeed. With a frightened chulgram, Grandfather Frog dived headfirst into the smiling pool, and so close was old Whitetail that the water was splashed right in his face. He clutched frantically with his great claws, but all he got was a piece of the big green lily pad on which Grandfather Frog had been sitting, and of course this was of no use for an empty stomach. 
with a scream of disappointment and anger he whirled in the air and made straight for jerry muskrat but jerry just laughed in the most provoking way and ducked under water End of chapter 5 Recording by Tech Savvy www.techsavvy.wordpress.com